Well, welcome there, Chums. Does I count on numbers to use? And today, Chums, I've got myself a lovely glass of coffee. Heck yes, I do. Now, what am I going to be doing today? I'm going to be jumping into No Man's Sky in VR to check out these new interceptor ships to see how they look inside of VR, peeps. So, yeah, just going to be a very quick video. And also, I want to have a look at how sharp it is now inside of PlayStation VR because they did mention in the patch notes that it's added some visual improvements to PlayStation VR 2. So, let's jump on in and let's do that. It's going to take me a while to put on the old helmet and get everything ready. But I'll see you inside of VR, peeps. Heck yes. Righto chums, well here I am inside of No Man's Sky. Wow. Oh, we can do this thing now, can't we? We can actually pick this up off of here, can't we? And move it around or something. Um, maybe? Or oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how you do that sort of finicky stuff. Anyway, we are here to look at the actual ship anyhow, people. Oh my days! <laughs> Look at Exo! He's had a facelift! It's a little freaking sentinel now. I wondered what that was. It's my freaking wings, of course. I'm like a freaking possessed angel, aren't I? Anyway, the ship, the ship. That's what I'm here to look at. And oh my days, that looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? I love it. It gives it a different sense of perspective being in VR. Of course it does, anyway. Let's, let's get on in. Let's uh, get on in the ship. Oh! <laughs> It starts off feeling pretty claustrophobic, and then when it all goes translucent like that... Oh, this is nice. Wing out there. <laughs> What's a seat like? Oh, I haven't got a seat. Okay. There's just wires and stuff everywhere, people. Look at that spinning around, and that spinning around. And these circuit boards down here. Freaking heck. Okay. Very different to any other cockpit, I must say. Let's go. Let's fly it out. Sweet. Oh, I like it. I like the cockpit on this one. Let's shoot some asteroids for a sec, people. Take that, asteroids. And then I'll tell you what. You see that purple and orange planet out there? We'll fly to that. In fact, let's do that now. Let's uh, pick this joystick up. Let's go on over there now, people. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's up. Uh, Engage the thrusters. And go! Tally ho, and off we go. Oh, it's a corrupted sentinel world. Hold on, it's got paraffinium on it. It's a misty planet. Okay, so it's, it's a swamp world. I wondered whether that was a freaking star bramble freaking corrupted planet. I do want to try and find a corrupted lush planet at some stage, people. So that's probably going to be a search that I need to do. The only thing is, as you know, people inside the view of us, I'm going to be heading off to the Philippines as of the 10th of April. And I won't be back inside of good old Blighty until quite some time after, about the 27th of April, I arrive back. But I'm going to need a recovery time because I, I think I'm going to have severe jet lag. Yeah, it's, a, it's another world away is the old Philippines. Right, well, let's um, hammer down to the planet. Oh, look at this scorch line right here on the planet. We'll try and touch down by that, peeps. Okay, well, I'm already noticing that it's visually sharper already. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, ooh, let's slow that down. Slow down. Land. Land, dang thee. I like the way that these Sentinel ships just hover in place now. There's no sort of inertia. These ships feel a little bit more comfortable, I have to say, for people that might get motion sickness, I would say. People. My, I know my coffee's over there somewhere. I don't want to knock it over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. So, things that were noticeable before inside of VR is when you get near to things that are moving, like this little bush, it had, like, ghost lines on it. And although it has still got a little bit of blur on there, but not like it was before. Before, it, you, it, it kind of felt that you was wearing a pair of glasses that weren't 100% for you, you know? Now, this feels a lot better. Oh my days. That's really sharp. The stuff that I'm right next to like this, that is beautifully sharp. And even like the little animations on that crystal and everything, it looks really quite cool. Now, you see, like, the angular bits that are coming off of this. You can see some sort of pixely sort of edges to it in a roundabout way. It doesn't look super smooth like some games do, like, say, um, Gran Turismo 7 or um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Don't get me wrong. This isn't 
a hundred percent perfect yet but you know what the distance draws a lot better it's like that crystal over there you can see it's like emanating a purple fog oh let's have a look at my multi tool <laughs> oh look at this thing oh, i wish i could actually hold it there as well at the same time oh look it's actually animated boom yeah <laughs> say hello to my little friend oh look that wheel spins when you and they pump up and down Oh wow! See, these are details that you just don't see, I guess, in the flat mode, isn't it? Boom, boom, boom! Yeah, freaking gangs to them. Ah, oh, have that! Freaking at angles and everything, mate. Freaking yellow numbers everywhere. Kaboom! Lovely jubbly. Let's go get that big crystal over there that I was talking about. So yeah, I would say this is a lot better. It's like the weather effects of all the fogging and stuff. It, it, it feels far more immersive now than when previous to this update, people. So yes. I would say the sharpness has been increased. It's better. It's um, not perfect, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there, people. Step by step, it's getting there. Okay, um, quick menu. Yes, I want to heal myself with this stuff. There we go. Okay, let's put that away. Can I put it away? Yeah, there we go. Let's go zap that. Boom! Oh, I see the lightning in the background right over there. There was lightning. I think that. Oh, look! Look at that freaking lightning everywhere now. Yeah, there's definitely a storm rolling in, people. If we get back to the old ship, we go back to the old Nexus, maybe. I tell you what, we fly back to the Nexus in my ship, and um, we go and have a look when the next item is about to pop in the Quicksilver store. Let's put the gun away. Freaking awesome. Okay, so yeah, PlayStation VR 2, I think, has had a slight improvement. When I say slight, it's noticeable. It's freaking noticeable. So. Don't get me wrong, if you've got PlayStation VR 2, jump back in and see if you see the differences that I'm seeing or whether I'm just imagining things. Right, so here we go, let's take one off and let's fly on back up to the old Nexus, shall we, people? Sweet. Anti gravity well at 95%. The anti gravity well is just the launch thrusters, people. So we've got a lot of new icons, but they don't actually really mean too much in the grand scheme of things. So if I bring up the menu here, no, not, not that menu. Um, how do I bring up the other menu? Is it this? Inventory, here we go. So if I look at my starship now, you can see I've done a little bit of upgrading on my starship. And you can see here that it uses dead the same starship parts as any other starship. Scottish Rod's done a really good video on this. Go check out Scottish Rod's video on how to upgrade your new Sentinel starships. If I can, I'll put a video in the top right hand corner so you can go check out his video. But it's it's exactly the same as you do any other starship, basically, peeps. All right, let's come out of there then. And let's uh, fly to the old next. You know what, I can do this on the quick menu, can't I? Quick menu. Nexus, let's bring the Nexus to me. Yes, I want it there. Nice one. And close that menu. Frost is engaged, and let's fly on in. Okay, so something else I'm hearing is Xbox players have got a rather gnarly issue that when they go to fly into the Nexus, they get stuck about here or something. Now, apparently, just toggling a few of your menus, like going in and out of the menus I was just in, like looking at your ship or whatever, or maybe even going into camera mode and coming out of camera mode, just sort of fiddling about with some menus sometimes triggers it and lets you go back in again. It's a little bit weird. I don't know why it's doing that for Xbox players. I've also heard that Xbox players are having random crashes, like lots of random crashes, so not too sure what's going on there, unless it's linked to that improvement, that visual improvement that was on Xbox only. Maybe it's that bedding in, but there is another load of patches coming very soon. And when I say another load, it's it's like the freaking credits to Marvel again. There's loads of loads of fixes there. Anyway, Johnny Five, hello there, mate. Now we were expecting blob creatures to come next inside of the Quicksilver store, but we're not getting blob creatures now. Next off, we're getting that sort of Gek Cowl, I think. You know what? I'll bring up the No Man's Sky app in a second. I'll show you what we're going to get. But it looks like we're at 53% unlocking this next ship sign. All right, so it's still a little way away. And then we've got this one. And as you can see here, menus are still a bit janky inside the PlayStation VR 2. Despite that being on the patch notes that they had fixed some of the menus, that menu still seems a bit squiffy. All right, anyway, people, so that's my sort of overview of PlayStation VR. And it does seem a lot sharper. Everything seems a bit crisper. It doesn't feel as blurry as it did. I am seeing on angular lines though, I am still seeing a little bit of pixelation. It's like that decal on the wing there. You know, it, it's it's kind of trying to bring it in. It's kind of not. I don't know how it looks for you guys on playback, but for me, I know that it's not quite perfect yet, but it's, it's getting there. Let's just have a look at that animation one more time. 
Oh, I don't think that's... I don't think I'm going to get tired of that. I don't think I'm going to get tired of that at all. I love all these little red lights that are sort of reflected on the actual glass. And when you look a little bit closer to it, you can sort of like see like the transition of circuitry boards on the actual glass, like that red pulsating thing. And I think that's the... on the outside. Oh, brilliant work, Hello Games. Brilliant work. Sterling work. Anyway, people, let's jump back to drinking my coffee in real world. Oh. Well, people, there we go. Now, I did say about the No Man's Sky Assistant app and taking a quick butchers at what's next inside of the queue. So here's the No Man's Sky Assistant app on my lovely phone. Right, so if I go into Community Missions, there's all those signs that we were just looking at inside the game. And if I click Next, you're going to see there, Spawning Cowl. Let's hit the Spawning Cowl. Let's hit it one more time. So it's a little hood for Gex. Make yourself look like a riding hood Gex or something. Who freaking knows? But that's going to cost 3,200 quick silvers. And then the next thing after that is a geometric cape, mate. Look at that. Freaking nice. Let's just uh, hope by the time we unlock that, Nintendo Switch have got the update and they can actually wear capes. But that one is 3,000 quick silver. So yeah, that actual little um, cowl, I think, was more, wasn't it? Oh, look. Yeah, 3,200. 200 quid more for a hood. I don't know. That's a bit random, isn't it? Anyway, people, that's what's coming next in the Quicksilver store. That was my little bit of a new summary, really, wasn't it? You know? Actually, since we're going freaking to town on this, might as well show you people inside of the Viewerverse the patch notes list. Mine tonight, because there's an interesting one on there, people. Yeah, I'll be right back with you in a second, people, inside of the Viewerverse. Just bear with me. Okay, jumps I'm over on the old Twitter space, and this is my Twitter profile. If I scroll on down, I shared the actual patch notes earlier on today. So let's have a look. Here they are, right here. So I'm just going to make the images bigger that Sean's put out here. So there's lots of rare crashes and all sorts of visual glitches and jerkiness that's been addressed. Some bits and bobs to do with the VR stuff, and also twist access, and also being able to yaw your ship left and right and stuff, which sounds pretty cool. So there's still things I need to actually test inside of VR, but it's on this page where where things get a little bit interesting. So there is one here that says here, fixed an issue that could cause corrupted sentinels to appear on non-corrupted wells when playing on a higher difficulty setting. So that's a thing. And there's another one as well here. Fixed an issue that caused the galactic galaxy map to fail to display information about dissonant systems when playing on lower difficulty settings. So the whole thing of relaxed mode and creative mode and not bringing up those systems with the corrupted sentinels, it looks like that was actually a bug, not a feature. I didn't know whether they put it into game by accident as a bug or whether it was meant to be like that. But now we know. It was a bug. So all those people that are upset that they couldn't do this update in relaxed or creative mode, that might change. At least you can see the systems now. When it comes to doing combat with the Sentinels, I don't know. Because when you're in creative mode and you try to find any Sentinels to do combat with, they just don't show up. You can go and help yourself to Gravity No Balls and the Sentinels don't come. So we're going to have to test that one out when it comes to fruition, people inside of the view of us. But at least it's a step forwards in the right direction. And something that I'm super liking about this update is if you jump on over to the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange where people share portal coordinates with finds, multi-tools, ships, and etc. or bases, whatever, you're seeing a heck of a lot of these ships, people. And there's so many configurations, far more than you can shake a freaking stick at. And trust me, I can shake a stick. <laughs> okay, so here we go. There's all sorts going on here. I mean, look at that number. Freaking orange and purple. It looks like, it looks like the uh, symbol for Decepticons, doesn't it? That really does look like... That, that is the Decepticon logo. Freaking mentals. Let's just go on down a little bit further. Oh, I like that. That's white, red and black, isn't it? It's got little red sort of pieces on it. I like that one a lot. What galaxy is it? It's in Euclid. I might have to go and grab that one for myself, people. That one is freaking lovely. I would like it if it had a little bit more red on it. In fact, I think they're just shadows. Looking at the image down there... I don't think it has got red on it. I think it's just white. Yeah, white and black. But it's still cool. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool as well. Oh, oh my days. That thing looks freaking evil. Oh, I like that one. Found Dracula's pimp, and it's in it's in it's in Euclid. Oh, I like that. That's very cool, isn't it? 
and I, I think that one is red, isn't it? Or is it? It's hard to say whether it's just the orange colour. They haven't put the colour at the top, but it, yeah, it could be red. Yeah, let's scroll on down and see what else we've got. Oh, look at that, just jet black. That's very cool. Matrix Sentinel-like moth. That is pretty darn awesome. That's in Eisentam. We got that one there. Oh, no, not into that. That's quite cool. Oh, it's got the spider legs. It's got the spider legs. So when it lands, those sort of legs sort of come out a little bit. Oh, it's got a bit of gold on it. Oh, darn it. But that's cool. I like that. Yeah, look, spider legs sort of deploy at the front there when it lands. Very cool. I like that. And the new multi-tool, the same one that I've got there, pretty much. Yeah, that's nice. Blue one. Pretty cool. Another dark sort of coloured one. Give it a couple of days, people, and this is going to have pretty much almost every combination on there and every colour pretty much going, maybe. In fact, I don't know how many combinations there are, but that's nice, isn't it? Deep red with white and black accents. X-Wing style fighter. Oh, you know what? I might have to go grab this. I might have to do a video and go grab this. I think that might have to become part of my ship fleet, people. A little X-Wing type one. Oh, look, they close up when it's landed. And then they open up when it takes off. Oh, yes. I think that's one for me. Who found this one? It's in Euclid Swell. And this was posted by Echo Terry. Yeah. Go on here. Take a little look. See if you can find anything you like the look of. I mean, there's so many to choose from. Spoiled for freaking choice. Yeah, I might do a little bit more scrolling in my own time, people, and see if I can find some that I definitely want to add to my ship fleet. Because, of course, you've got to invest the time in doing these up. That's quite compact, isn't it? Looks like a little freaking tick. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there that loves that. That's pretty cool, too. That's pretty nimble. But I, I like the X-Wing one so far. That's kind of nice. They're awesome, aren't they? They really are pretty darn freaking procedural. There's another really little co uh, compact one. The cutest one I've found. Yeah, it, it's got not much to it, mate, that one. <laughs> oh, man, there's so many different variants. That just looks like a freaking USB stick, doesn't it? <laughs> like that. What the fudge? Okay, all right. Fine, people. Oh, there you are. I, I, th I think you get the idea. It's freaking awesome, isn't it? Okay, well, let's just jump back over to me. I'm going to be drinking my coffee and ending off. Now, as you know, I'll be going out to the Philippines. I'm not going to be able to deliver videos like this while I'm in the Philippines. It's going to be very much vlogs first when I'm in the Philippines. I have got a couple of videos that I haven't put live yet that are gaming ones. I've got a couple for Arcade Paradise. You start off earning a laundrette and you slowly replace your laundrette machines with arcade machines. I've already done two episodes, so hopefully they're going to air early part of the week. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy this. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, people, what's left of it. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.